find the mean of the following data on an HP 35S scientific calculator. Now first thing we want to do is clear out any numbers that might already be in there. So we have this blue button and we have this yellow button, so keep those in mind. I'll push the blue button and then I'll choose this clear. Now it comes up this menu and I'm going to choose all, so I'll do three. And it says clear all. I do my left arrow key, put it on the yes, and then I'll press my enter. And that's cleared out any numbers. Okay, now I'm going to type in each one of these numbers, and then I want to click this uh, E plus um, button here. That's uppercase sigma. So I'll do 13, push sigma plus, comes up and tells us 1. That means we've got one number stored. Then I'll put in 19, and I'll push my sigma plus. 23, sigma plus. 31, sigma plus, 45, sigma plus, 46, sigma plus, 47, sigma plus, 51, sigma plus, and 53, sigma plus. And it tells us we got nine numbers, which is correct. Now I've got those numbers entered in there, and you see above the plus down here, it says x bar, comma, y bar. So if I do my yellow key and then the plus, it'll bring that up. And you see I got X bar there. If I go to Y bar, you see a zero. Uh, stat error there. The one we specifically want is this first one. X bar means sample mean. Now that's also the same formula for the population mean. And you see it's uh, this. And rounded two decimal places would get, give us 36.44. Now get out of this, you just press your, your clear down here, and that takes you back to here. And then you could clear that out if you wanted to. In this video, we took a look at how to find the mean on an HP 35S calculator.